Right then, Tyler. Lunchbox. If you forget your lunchbox, you're in trouble. What you need is a lunchbox that sits on the side of your car. Now, they don't do them in Spider-Man or anything cool like that, but we could do some graphics for them. But Land Rover have made this highly controversial, what they call it, a exterior mounted side gear carrier. Almost sounds like a narcotics reference, doesn't it? Where's your gear? In there. <laughs> in the Defender. In the panel on the side. So we are going to have a go. We haven't even looked at it yet, but we've, we've fitted the roof rails. We'll do the, we've done the video for that and we tied up. Boop, 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 yeah. Up there. Um, so you have to have the roof rails because I think it's going to cling on to this for its dear life. It's going to cling on there. And I think this little strip's going to come out. And I think it's going to like bolt in there. But it's going to cover our 110 graphic. Um, good job it on, on the other side. But actually, what, Jerry's gone now, hasn't he? <laughs> He wasn't that invited to the controversial wedding. So right, what was it? Right, I did have this out the other day, but I haven't. Let's have a look. Go around the edge. Hold on, let me spin the box. You, you stay there, Tyler. Don't you trouble yourself. Here's some part numbers. There you go. Indeed, a part number. There Four three seven. Genuine pucker stuff. Do you reckon anyone will copy the controversial? Side mounted gear carrier. Recycled packing, we like that. Hold on, I got that. Have I got everything? Yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. have. Oh, right. Find that nice I think it might be uh, holding itself within itself. Key. I'm going to have a massive pack of keys. I'm going to have like a wad of keys. By the time I got this and my what my roof bars and my side, uh, anyway. They ought to do a suite of keys all the same, didn't they? <laughs> if you bought them. What number I have to look like? That's, that's number 103, look. There you go. So actually, here's an interesting point to know. If you, they are numbered, the locks. If you lose your keys, or if you want to get in someone else's box, read the number, and then I guess you can order the keys from somewhere. Have you got that, Tyler? I, am I helping or not? All right, need that'll have to beat me. Right, oh, there is a number on there. Right, now, oh, there you go. Right, so, oh, look at that. Come and have a look, Tyler. We've oh, those flash. So I think I think we can see already. We've got some bolt holes at the bottom, right? We've got something cable tied there. How that? That might have been my keys. Right. We've got an air. So I'm all ready to go on holiday. Looks like a suitcase. It'd be good if it sort of unclipped and you could just walk on the right there. So I think that's going to be some sort of a. Hang on, that's affair. That's going to be a sort of. Anything. That, looks, that, that looks like the job, isn't it? Can't imagine what else it would be. Oh look, we've got a little bit of sponge. Oh. I like sponge. Right. A bit of honeycomb there, that's good though. That. Lightweight but strong, see? Yeah, we invented by bees, yeah? <laughs> right. Not trademarked though. Not trademarked, no, they missed that one. Yeah. Hang on. Right, oh look, we've got a rug. Right. We've got... Have we got a, a No, 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 we've got oh. a rug. No, I was going to look and fur, but no, we've got an, a fur and a rug. So I reckon we're front and rear. And what do you reckon the difference between those two is, Tyler? You come this side, Tyler. Well, can you notice any? Are they, well, they're slight. They don't look a lot different. Beat me. See that? I reckon it's they're the same. I reckon, uh, I reckon it's just they're having a laugh again. Oh, I don't know, there might be. Mm. Mm. Don't know. Right, anyway, we're going to do as we're told. Not my custom misbehave, Tyler. Right. We've got the idiots, put the root on the fur. Right, we've got a root and a fur. Now, what are these? Have these got any. Got clippage. Oh, yeah, some clippage. Oh, we love a. <laughs> Just reminds me of you dropping that white clip down the drain, Tyler. Oh, the times we've oh, had together. God. Right, they look the same ish. Almost tempted to replace it. Mm. Yeah, right, we've got two of them. Get on. Let's open the bags carefully so Land Rover don't get upset. Right, right we'll have a look at that in a minute. But have we got, have we got any, is that, that's everything there? I think that's it. Right, so I think so this is your... Right, let's have a look what we've got. we've got. Right, so we've got the fitting instructions up. Now, a is our carrier, we, we know that, we're happy with that. B, it says we'll get two of B, but we've already worked out there is a B, there is a BR 
R and a B F. So I'm not sure really that should technically be two Bs. I reckon that should be an A and a B or something. But anyway, we, we digress. Right then, what else have we got? A, B, these are your Cs, these little screws there. A, B, C, D is those two big bolts there. Help me, Tyler. A, B, C, D, E is that one up there. Those sort of washers with a hole in. F is these little square sort of threaded insert things. F, G is those longer bolts. H is two little flat washers. I, you don't, there is no I. I, J are these sort of flat washers there. I, J, K is those long silver bolts. K, L, L is these funny little sort of recessed funky washers. L, M. Now, M, it tells me, oh, I've got to scroll down for M. Bear with. M, worryingly, it tells me I should have two. And we've, we've, we, we can't find two. They've done me. So hopefully that's not too important. So I've only got, unless you have to cut it in half. No, it definitely shows. You don't think you're supposed to cut that? No. Anyway, I've been diddled. There you go, MFI all over again. Right, M, and then two Ns, which are these sort of end caps. Right, there we go. So that's the kit of parts. Right, the, the things that we got that weren't on the kit of parts is a bonus grommet, da-da-da-da, and a bonus Torx head bit. So maybe we're just lucky. Right. Extra bonus parts. Right, let's crack on with the install. Right, we're on it now. So the first thing you need to do, and by the way, this is the same on a 90 and a 110. Um, so we've got to remove this strip. So let's jump on the car and have a look. So I'll let Tyler do this bit. We haven't had this off before yet, have we? No, not yet. Not yet, go on then. What, which side are you starting at, Tyler? Uh, actually, open the door, open the door. See if that gives you a little bit of... It does. There you go, there's a, there's a plan. Yeah, that's got to be the way to do that, isn't it? Oh, oh! Right, and what technology is that using, Tyler? Little. Let's get under the light here. Let's have a look. It's got a bit of pressure. It's got an. But what technology is it using? Is it? It looks like these little, little sort of barbed. Oh, my camera's not focusing. Hold on, let me tap the screen. It's got little barbed headed things. Is that it? Yeah, they force themselves out. Yeah. Seems like, seems like a quite a good little clip system, doesn't it? It's better than the other clips. It's got a little weather seal on the top. Right, let's have a look what is the receptacle on the body. So is it, it's got... Oh, it's got these little... Yes, yeah, so it just locates in those little grooves there. That seems simple enough. Right, we're happy with that. Right, we think we have digested the instructions. So from the rear... I'll have a look at them in a minute, or we'll have a look. So from the rear end, you have to measure 174 millimeters, which takes you to there. And from this end, you have to measure 101 random dimensions to there. Now, what I think we're going to have here is this should line up with this sticker. Now, I bet if we take this sticker off, like, ah, oh, look, you can start to see. Have a little peek in there, Tyler. Can you see we have a nice threaded hole? Yes, I can. So I think what we're going to do is they want us to drill a hole here there and then that's going to form the mountain we're going to put that back on right i'm making it up but i'm pretty sure now we think we've worked out what this is so what you're supposed to do is this is a template and there's a little hole in the middle there where you're going to drill a pilot hole and it's shaped the same as this let me so what you've got to do is line that the middle of that up with your with your bit there hold on and then it it clips over like so See it neatly. I'm just trying to get the best camera angle for that. But it, you can sort of slide that along, look, and then you can make sure. So I'm trying to wonder how we're going to get the under exactly in line. We're just going to have to like do it like that, aren't we? And then I almost have to drill through that to get a slightly bigger hole, so we can see. See, but then we, but you see, with the small hole, we can drill a pilot hole, and it gives us a very accurate mm. dimension. So we'll we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, it would have been better if they'd have almost given you the dimension for me. Yeah? To there because measuring to somewhere you can't see is kind of tricky but yeah right so we see what they're trying to do anyway we can offer it up yeah that looks spot on look so let's measure that and obviously this gate and we think now they didn't mean to give you two we think they're probably you only need one so we're just going to pilot drill pilot drill and then we can reuse that so i don't think you needed to to give us two we didn't give us two but put two in the instructions right let's get on and drill that toilet 
Right, we're drilling a pipe drill. It's slightly bigger than the hole because we're going to go for a slightly bigger. We're going to re, re, whatever, design the jig. Right, go for it, Simon. Using a four mil. Yeah. There we go. So it's actually metal, this panel. It's sort of aluminium, I think. Right, so that has given us one. That's not oh, too pretty bang on. It's not a little bit off, but not too bad. Right, let's double check where I'm going to check on the car where we want this other one. Yeah, he's not too bad off. Is he? Right, then. right. Okay, so let's get that one going. Right, so this is the dimension. So we, so this is the rear, but sanity check it against the car. And that is the front, that's the dimensions there. So if you're doing the 90, you can see the dimension is quite different. So you've got 174 from the rear and 556 from the front to do the holes. So what you then have to do is do the two pilot holes and then you have to drill a 19 millimetre hole. So here we go. And then use a 19. Now a 19 millimetre drill bit is kind of tricky to get. Most drills only go up to 13 millimetre. So we've got a blade drill we're going to try, but may or may not work out fine. Um, and I think what we're trying to get to is, well, these are the bolts that go in. Now these bolts have actually got a thread in there, and this is about 19. So I think these are going to screw into the bodywork, then we're going to put the plastic trim over, and it's going to leave the threaded bit coming out. Let's have a look. Right, so we don't have a 19 millimetre drill, so we've used this rather ropey old blade drill. Now it cuts sort of fine, but the problem you've got is, as you go through, it's quite thin around the bottom, but at this top area, you've got this sort of, this this upper rib of this inner extrusion. So it got a little bit messy there, but we filed it out. I think it's gonna be all right. Um, but yeah, you might wanna consider getting a super nice 19 millimeter drill bit to do it, but let's have another go. Right then. Um, what we're gonna use is, it was getting a bit hot, so I'm gonna use this sort of, rather weird, you've seen us use this before sort of high performer metal working compound with molybdenum disulfide. Oof. Gotta love that stuff. Can't get enough molybdenum. <laughs> molybdenum I think is a lubricant. But... Right, and there we go. Oh. Can't find the L. Too much lift. Yeah, it's so too much molybdenum. Like. Molybdenum, yeah, great. too bad i think it was better for some molybdenum on there so there we go so we'll just have to file out that inner rib there and get that cleaned up right it's telling us next we need to slot it out um so that might not be too bad because that bit of that upper extrusion there where we needed to file it a bit we might just slot it out but i'm going to leave that for now because that looks a bit messy um, and we are going to go on to the next bit so we've got to remove these little water these little black circles we removed already. Don't remove the middle one, obviously, because water will get into your car. Right, so there we go, remove that. And now we're gonna put in the E and the D. So on my carefully organized table, Tyler's D. done one, an E D. and a D, there you go. And we are gonna put that in. They've got some sort of sealing stuff on there, which is good. I think that's more, it feels quite like a sealant more than a thread lock. Um, so right, let's get that on the car. Right, yeah, make sure you don't cross thread it. You should get it in a few turns by hand and then it's a 14 millimeter Tyler. So Tyler's put one in already. Yeah, that extended socket's a good idea, Tyler, because it keeps you away yeah. from the paintwork and the window. Right, now obviously that washer can spin. We've got to try and get it straight, I'm guessing. So I tightened it until there was pressure on the washer and then sorted it and then finished it. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, oh, that's fine. Right, we've got two mounting points. We're looking good. Well, I think that, that feels like it's going. That's as secure as it was before, Nick Tyler. Right, next it's then we've got to take two Fs. So Fs are these bits here. Oh, I get it. And these look like they're going to slot into the roof rails and we need to lo roughly line them up with those two other fixings. So I guess 
that's going to go into our bottom fixing and that's going to go into our top fixing so you can see they're in line right let's get the f on there right so that's cool so we they, they go in where you've got the big cut out area and you can get them along roughly it doesn't really matter does it up to about there somewhere right. he's a bit tight on this one there we go, he's a little tight bit just there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got those in, all good. Right, we've now got to put these brackets on and according to the instructions, it uses the screws C. So these four screws. So it doesn't mention the F and the R, not that I can see. So we are going to put the front on the front. Right, so that's going to, let's have a quick look. So that is, how does that? Does it slot or does it just locate? That just locates like yeah. that. Right, do you want to try getting one of those? Got my hand, can you get one of those inside if I hold that bit? There you go. In through there. Right, so we'll get, have you got the other one there? Right, we'll get these four of these in. We'll come back. Yeah. So we need to tighten the four fixings. They were Torx T25 um, to 11 Newton meters. Here we go, here we go, right then. So we've now got to get, so we need J, and then so we need G and H, right, here we go. G and H, like that. So we need to get those G and H ready. And then these brackets, these seem to be like little spacers that go inside, yeah? Yeah. So let's jump up and put those on. Right, so we've got these little plates here, and it looks like they go over there. And I think that's going to form a clamp. All right, but we're going to have to get that up there. Oh, this can I see? This is oh, this is tricky lining all this up. Right, so that's that's grip now. So now we've done that one. We'll do. Right, we'll have a go at doing this second one. All right. Line them all. So I can, I can slide this one. Get that one. You're in one, you're in both. Uh, so got just enough to get that in, haven't you? It'd be nice if they had those bolts with those lead ins. You know those bolts yeah. like with the little lead in that leads you into the. Right, so that's that. So I don't think we want to do too much more with that. And what we now need to start doing is, oh, we still got our cable <laughs> tie on there, is we now need to slide this along. To line, to, to line up with the two mounts. Now again, we haven't cut the top groove out of that. And we don't think we need to, do we, Tom? No. I don't see the need for that. Right, we'll get that tightened up and we'll come back and put these bolts in. Right, so lastly, hopefully lastly, we've got to put the K's and the L's. So that's the K's and the L's. Now does it tell us which way? Oh, it seems to show the little, yeah. the smaller radius bit. So that, that goes like that. Okay, that farm's a nice little domey bit like that, look. Right, let's go and see if we can get those into those other fittings. Lift it up. Have we worked out what that security bit they gave us free in the kit was for yet? Security bit, what, the grommet? No, the, the grommet, well, hey, the grommet. Yeah. What's the grommet for? And okay. that little security Torx bit. Oh, yeah, good point you mentioned that. You need those to tighten the top two screws. That's screws. That's okay, they so are. they go. Ah, oh, so they're like the anti-theft security thing. Yeah, yeah, on the top. Top. Where, where's the grommet gone? Have we worked the grommet out yet? I, the grommet isn't for anything. Grommet is out on its own. It's not that, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I've got no use for that grommet. Right, there we go. All right, there you go. Let's get those tight. So, so we will. That's those tight. So have you tightened those already then, yeah? They're half tight. They're half a, tight they have right. another little turn. turn. Right. We'll get those fully tight and then we'll open it up and have a little look inside. Right. So then we've got these little caps to go on. So yeah, you've got your little grooves and our lovely white cap. Ah, so that's why you probably don't need the security caps on those. Yeah. Because they're cunningly hidden. <laughs> cunningly hidden. Look at that. Yeah, they might have been easier to install those actually if I'd have opened the lid. But let's have a look. Oh yeah, right. Where's it? Got, oh, there we go. So it's got a little. Yeah, so it might have been easier to snap those on with that lid, and also I think it might have been easier to fit those lower bolts with the lid open. 
yeah. you give us a bit more clearance to see yeah. the Allen key. Right. Um, the last step seems to talk about... Let's get a torch tied up. Right, so the lock bow is held on with two two nuts here. So obviously they're asking us to make sure they're, they're uh, tight. So I guess... I guess you could tighten, so they're 22 millimetre. I've got a long reach socket, probably do it with a normal socket. I guess you could put some thread lock on them if you were. So do you know what the second nut there, that's how you create a lock tie, have you ever done that? Two nuts no. next to each other, you force the you force the one against the other and it stops it by breaking loose. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Right, so yeah, so just make sure you've got those and it'll stop the lock. So, right, so you've got a little thing here. You've got a little, you know, you can hold a torch in there. Um, let's have a look. So it's on a, it's not on a gas strut. It's got no, a sort of primitive, locking sort of half locking hinge that holds the weight, look. And then, there we go. All right, and then put that. Now, it's all, I always were worried wondered how they got away with this but I think if you sort of look down the side of the car trailer I don't think it technically sticks out does it no it doesn't so that's how they got away with it because it's where the, the body tapers back up there whoa um it's sort of well there we go so there it is now we've had to fit this because if you're going to fit the explorer roof rack you explore a roof rack next you'll be able to peek inside the box trailer have a look, there you go. Ooh. We have to fit this before we fit the Explorer roof rack. So that's us done for this week. That's Friday afternoon finished. So next week, Tyler, we'll try and get on the, the big roof rack, won't we? Yep. And, and look, so now we've, now we've got an odd zero. <laughs> got an odd zero showing now. So um, that's a bit bizarre. We so might we have to redesign a... Should we design a sign that says sandwiches with an arrow? <laughs> Or a little Jerry. Or a little Jerry, a little baby Jerry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Catch you later.